Hello. Welcome back to another Marky Mark video. Sad news, unfortunately. Yesterday we saw um, the passing of Wayne Shorter. Wayne Shorter being one of the most important jazz musicians of the modern age. I guess, you know, not unexpected, 89 good age. He outlived many of his contemporaries who uh, just didn't even get anywhere near that sort of age. So it was a good age. But last night, it was a nice opportunity to have a few moments thinking about the wonderful music that Wayne Short has brought us. I don't have a stack of Wayne Shorter stuff. But I do love the um, I love his his music. I do have a few things I can show you, which I'm sure everyone is showing <laughs> on all the forums and uh, YouTube videos. Let's crack on. <laughs> of course, speak no evil. Now I've m mentioned this. It's it's um, Blue Note eight four one nine four stereo with. Uh, Freddie Hubbard on trumpet, who I love, Freddie Hubbard. Herbie Hancock on piano, Ron Carter on bass, Elvin Jones on drums. It's a fantastic album. Let's get it out of the shrink. Try and get it out. This is the 2020 reissue on, from Blue Note. Thank goodness that they sorted out the infill. There's some few, a few patches where, where it was just so full of infill where you get that zippy noise. Pleased to say I left it a year, bought this, and it sounds fantastic. I love that front cover of Wayne Shorter, and I think that was his wife at the time. And uh, it's a great album, well worth a listen. Prior to that, I did buy etc. This is fantastic. I mean, this is just a fa fabulous tone poet, again with Herbie Hancock. And we've got Cecil McBee uh, on bass, Joe Chambers on drums. Not a tone poet that you can get hold of very easily now. I mean, none of these tone poets are out of print, but I don't know. Some great session photography there of the great Wayne Shorter himself and Herbie. Fantastic. When I first played this, first kind of few seconds on the first track, I was like, oh, I'm not sure this is going to be for me. It just feels a bit off. But then you kind of get into it and it all makes sense. <laughs> it all makes sense. And then you flip, flip the, the record and play side two, Barracudas, and then you realise what's going on. And Barracudas is a fantastic track goes on for 11 minutes and it's just a really foreboding musical luscious um, <laughs> uh, track it's wonderful and then after that is uh, Indian song actually it was um, Gil Evans that wrote Barracudas but Wayne Shorter did a fantastic job this is a 2019 tone poet and it was originally recorded uh, 1965 at Van Gelder Studios. Sounds amazing, absolutely amazing, but really great. And then, um, of course, Wayne Shorter was <laughs> part of this lovely collaboration, Weather Report, Black Market. I, didn't, I picked this up fairly recently, just before Christmas, from my local shop. The lovely picture on the back there of the young of young Wayne having a cigarette. I hope you can see that okay. But I love this front cover as well. It's really jazz. Is it jazz fusion? Yeah, it's just funky jazz fusion. Weather report, black market. I just love that picture. It's just stunning. Sounds fantastic. It's probably about. I think it's a VG VG plus for them. 
for the uh, vinyl and it's BG plus for the for the cover as well the sleeve really good so last night I then dipped a bit further and decided to listen to Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers of course Wayne Shorter <laughs> on tenor sax we've got Bobby Timmons on piano Lee Morgan the great Lee Morgan on trumpet uh, obviously Art Blakey drums and Jimmy Merritt on the bass and this sounds fantastic actually I've not listened to this for a little while it's been a few months it's been quite a, well it's been quite a while and I've just you know when you you go back to something that you haven't had you know on the on the deck for a while and you realize how nice it is and oh wow well, yeah <laughs> uh, that deer on side two is just fantastic and then it, uh, the end track is probably my favorite it's only a paper moon and this is the 2019 no sorry 2021 blue note classic reissue but yeah wayne's great on this as well fantastic album really easy to get dead cheap and it sounds fantastic not a single pop click anything wonderful uh let's go with one of my favorite jazz records of all time it's still my I think yeah it's in I think it's in my top five but I listen to this and it just sends shivers down your spine gives you the goose pimples every time I listen to it and it's Art Blakey's Indestructible with Lee Morgan on the trumpet and uh, Curtis Fuller on trombone and of course Wayne Shorter because this is a Wayne Shorter kind of tribute video uh, on tenor sax and the wonderful Cedar Walton on piano so I love Cedar Walton, Reginald Workman on bass, and of course, Art Blakey on drums, 2019. Uh, it sounds fantastic. Nothing more to say. Absolutely love it. The first track, The Egyptian, will blow your socks off if you've not heard it. And then you've got the second track on side one, Saucy. Uh, from start to finish, this is a delight. This really, you know, Lee, Lee Morgan on the trumpet, especially Lee Morgan, he's absolutely on fire on this so this was recorded at uh, I think it was recorded in 19 it was released in 1963 I think it was recorded in 1963 fantastic love indestructible and I think this goes hand in hand with moaning as well for me top top jazz records so I just a couple more that I've kind of dipped into my collection nothing new at the moment i will tell you that i've ordered something actually and uh it's freddie hubbard's straight life which i've mentioned before fantastic funky as hell and i love uh you know the lineup is fantastic no wayne shorter on this so it's not quite there <laughs> i've just kind of like drifted off last night and listened to my wayne shorter uh, and then i just sort of thought oh, i need a bit of a little bit of freddie hubbard uh, with George Benson, Ron Carter, Jack Dejanet, Herbie Hancock, Joe Henderson and Richard Landrum. Fantastic. On the Pure Pleasure label. Fantastic. Fantastic audio file label based in London. Pure Pleasure. Really, 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 really highly rate this one. If you haven't heard this, awesome. Uh, and then I just I finished off with a bit of Bill Evans because it's Friday, Friday night. And... Uh, um, listen to this absolute gorgeous delight Bill Evans on piano Eddie Gomez on bass and the wonderful Elliot Zygmunt on drums there's some lovely um, audience participation on this it's not too bad uh, the hype sticker says 1975 previously unreleased two LP set on uh, pressed on 180 gram vinyl at RTI State of the art transfer from the original tapes by Plangent Processes. It's a couple of pop, pops and clicks on this one, which I can't seem to clean, but it sounds fantastic. And actually, the, the version of Nardis, which is a Miles Davis track, and I've mentioned that before, uh, it's, it's really, really good. <laughs> it's a really good one. It's a brilliant version. So if you haven't heard Nardis, it's on side uh, disc two, side D. It's actually the last track, and it is absolutely probably 
best version. Really enjoyed that. So that's me. I've spun a few records recently. I've had a bit of a break, to be honest. I've been so busy at work and life and everything. And so I just thought I'd do this video following the news yesterday of, of poor Wayne Shorter. Um, what I have managed to do is completely recatalog my collection. <laughs> I spent about six hours last weekend, much to the delight of my wife, who thought it was hilarious. Um, I, I've shown in a previous video that I've, the way I set my records up is I've got my jazz and then I've got a section on female artists. And then elsewhere I've got kind of like sort of rock pop and then I've got sort of like electronic -er and and what I was finding was I was losing stuff like I had some things that I didn't think were in the place where I left them uh, so I got a bit fed up and then decided right I used my discogs and listed everything alphabetically and spent hours um, just alphabetically sorting everything and I found a few records that I hadn't actually listed on Discogs, which I couldn't work out how that had happened because I've got kind of like a routine. So anyway, I've, I've managed to keep all my jazz stuff from A to Z and everything else A to Z. And it seems to be working quite well. I know exactly where everything is. Uh, and uh, yeah, so a bit of a geeky end to today's video. A bit sad, but, you know, Wayne's music will live on we've still got some i mean we've got a couple of big hitters still alive today haven't we i think we've still got um lou donaldson i think he's in his 90s now and obviously herbie hancock he's still touring i think um so these jazz legends these great people don't live forever nobody does it's just sad when they go and we have to rejoice and celebrate their music and listen to it and and just think, wow, what a life. And uh, that's how we can keep them in our memories. Anyway, enough from me blabbering on. Have a nice weekend, wherever you are. And I'll see you at the next video. Take care. Bye. Keep spinning.